today we're talking about sales and specifically about sales when you messed up. Sometimes, because we're human, things don't go out, work out the way you want them to. Things don't happen exactly as you planned. Sometimes, because you're human, mistakes happen. And those mistakes can be caused by something you did or mistakes can be caused by production, operations. Hey, COVID, you know, things just happen. But you as a professional, as a professional in business, as a professional sales person, and everybody, everybody, whatever your role is, whatever you do, is a professional salesperson because you're always selling your ideas. You're always selling your concept. You're always selling how you can best serve the world. You're always doing that. So everybody is a salesperson. The difference is, do you want to be a professional salesperson that really embodies the kind of personality, the kind of trustworthiness, the kind of ethics, the kind of support that you're you want to provide and that your clients deserve. So today we're going to be talking to you specifically about what happens when you mess up. And this happened to me just recently where I sent out a proposal. I thought that it was just dandy, just right. Everything was working out. I reviewed it several times. I had somebody else review it several times. So it looked perfect. Until the client the client can't call back. Yes, I want it. Yes, yes, yes. And then we sent out the contract. Well, when we sent out the contract, the numbers in the contract were not what the client was expecting. And I was confused. How did that happen? How did that happen? Because as far as I was concerned, the contract was correct. Except when I looked at the proposal that I had sent, the way I had worded the proposal, the investment that they would make, I saw that I had made a mistake. I had written in such a way that, of course, she would see it the way she saw it. She was right. I was the one that was wrong. So what do you do in that situation? What are some of the strategies? And here are some of the things, the way that you mess up. And the way I've messed up, and that's what I want to talk about. So I've messed up when I did things too high, maybe charged too much, or that I reached too high, and that was really, I wasn't listening enough to know where they were at. Too low. How many times have we done something that was just too low? That we said something, and then after reflection, we're like, why did I do that? OMG, and how do I fix it up? Maybe you overpromised. Whatever you're saying, you were using words, but you really didn't think through how you were going to be able to meet those commitments. That's really important. Maybe production couldn't meet the commitments that you made. Sometimes we get overzealous when we're selling something and we overpromise. Sometimes we underdeliver. So we made a promise. We believed that we were going to do that commitment, but we underdelivered. We didn't do what we said we were going to do. We didn't meet the needs partially because we didn't even confirm with the client what they heard from you or what they read from you. And just like my opening, that was something they read what they read. It wasn't my intention. It wasn't how I wanted it, but it's what happened or that we miscommunicate. So then we go into, so if that happens, so we made a mistake, big deal. You made a mistake, but it is a big deal with how you work on that mistake, how you work through, because when you do it right, oh, it works out great. You feel amazing. You feel confident. You feel clear. The client feels amazing and excited that you did it this way. It builds a really strong, wonderful relationship when you handle your oops, when you handle those mistakes well. So to do that and to build a great reputation, to build a sense of trust, to build a sense of acknowledgement, there are a couple of things that you want to do. One, you definitely want to apologize. You want to get on the phone to that person and apologize for what you did, your miscommunication, your 
over promise, you're under under delivered, whatever it is that you know you did. I'm not saying to take responsibility for something that was maybe what how they were playing their games or what they were doing. I'm not saying that. I am saying that you have to look within and say, how did I mess up? What did I do to mess up? And then own it and really then communicate and apologize for what you did, for what your actions created, for what you said you were going to do and maybe didn't do or what, how you messed up. Just own it. it. It doesn't hurt you at all. It just, in fact, it makes it better for you when you just own it. The second part that you want to do is share your truth. So your truth may be, you know, I messed up and maybe I, I charged too little. Let me tell you how I came to those numbers. This is what I really need to make sure that we're in alignment, that I feel valued. You do your work well. This is what I would like. This is what I need. Can we come to an agreement about that? Sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't. You have to decide what you're going to do with that. But when you share your truth, they can hear you. They understand what you're saying. They understand where you're going from. And when you share your truth about maybe over delivering, I mean, under delivering a product or a service, you again have to share that truth and share why that occurred. What did you do? Again, it's not about throwing anybody on the bus and say, oh, it was their fault. They did it. No, you maybe could have called them up in the middle of the process and say, hey, this is going on and just keep keeping you apprised. Maybe you didn't communicate. This is all about you taking ownership of your actions, your thoughts, your beliefs, anything that was impeding you from doing the job that you really want to do, the amazing work that you really, really want to do. That's what you want to own up. And then third, you want to seek positive outcomes. So it's really important that you share, how can I make this right? How can I make this right for you? How can I make this right for me? How can we make this right? So this is about you knowing what your options are. What can you offer? What can you give extra? What? How can you serve them more so that you do those three things? One, you apologize. Two, you share your truth. And three, that you seek a positive outcome. Now, that's the best you can do when you mess up. Those are the steps that you want to do to build your reputation to show up. Not everybody is going to receive your apology the way you hope. Not everybody is going to, you know, seek a positive outcome with you. Some people are just going to get angry and they're going to be there. That's their choice. Your choice is to ensure that you come out and share your truth apologize and seek a positive outcome so that you feel confident so that you feel good so that you know that you've done all that you could to be your highest and best self that's what this is all about so go forth hey don't forget to go to my new course that i created just for you called your power course if you go to yourpowercourse.com you will get a course on confidence, on the sense of charisma and having faith in yourself. It's free. So go for yourpowercourse.com. Take care, everybody. Bye.